Hi, my name is Angel, and welcome to IHR Consulting FAQ. Today I'll talk about maternity leave and allowances. First question, how many days of paid maternity leave can a female employee be entitled to? The answer is, a female employee is entitled to at least 60 consecutive days of paid maternity leave. Second question, is there any replacement for leave if a public holiday falls during an employee's maternity leave? The answer is, if a public holiday falls during maternity leave, no additional day off will be given. In other words, maternity leave is 60 days including rest days and any public holiday that falls during that time. Third question, can maternity leave include any leave taken by the employees at any date earlier than the approved period of 30 days immediately preceding confinement? The answer is, a female employee is entitled to only up to 30 days of paid maternity leave before confinement making a total of 60 consecutive days. Confinement means the birth of a child whether alive or dead after 22 weeks of pregnancy. Fourth question, what is the rate of wages payable while on maternity leave? The answer is, monthly rated employees must be paid their monthly salaries as normal while other rated monthly salaries as normal while other rated employees must be paid their wages during the period of maternity leave, calculated at the ordinary rate pay, or at the rate of 6 ringgit per day whichever is greater. Fifth question, who will receive the maternity leave allowance if a female employee dies during her maternity leave? Well, if a female employee died during her maternity leave, her nominee or her legal personal representative will receive the maternity leave allowance up to the date of her death. Question 6, can a contract of service a female employee be terminated if she remains absent from work after the expiry of her 60 days maternity leave? The answer would be, if. After the expiry of 60 days maternity leave, she is still absent from work because she is medically unfit for work. She cannot be terminated until such absence exceeds 90 days after the end of her maternity leave. The employer may grant her unpaid leave for that period exceeding 60 days, or request her to treat the excess period as annual leave. Next question, what will the consequences be if a female employee is dismissed during the period of maternity leave without just cause? The answer is. If a female employee is dismissed during the period of her maternity leave, the employer shall be deemed to be committing an offense and shall be liable to a fine. Question 9. What is the minimum rate of maternity leave allowance per day? The answer would be, the minimum rate of maternity allowance is 6 ringgit per day subject to change from time to time. Next question. Can a female employee who is about to leave her employment be entitled to maternity allowance? The answer is. A female employee who is about to leave will be subject to confinement within four months effective from the date which she leaves shall, before leaving her employment, notify her employer of her pregnancy, otherwise no maternity leave will be given. Next question, what are the conditions stipulated under the Employment Act 1955 in respect of a female employee in order to enable her to be eligible for maternity leave or allowance? The conditions are, 1 must be a confinement within the meaning of the act which is defined as parturition resulting after at least 28 weeks of pregnancy. 2. She should have been employed by her employer at some time or other, even for a day during the four months, immediately preceding the confinement. 3. She should have been employed by the same employer for not less than 90 days during the nine months immediately preceding the confinement. 4. She should not have more than five surviving natural children at the time of her confinement. Five. She should within a period of 60 days immediately preceding her impending confinement, notify her employer of the date from which she intends to commence her maternity leave. Next question, is it compulsory for every employer to keep a register of maternity leave and allowance? The answer is, every employer must maintain a register containing the information prescribed by the regulations under the Employment Act. Last question. Under what circumstances may an employee who is not entitled to receive maternity allowance for the eligible maternity leave period, or who has not fulfilled the earlier, commence work at any time during the eligible period? The answer is, yes, she may, with the consent of the employer, commence work at any time during the eligible period if she has been certified fit to resume work by a registered medical practitioner.